Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, Nursing Education Tutor. My name is Cheryl Spencer. In this video, I'd like to talk about Zithromax, just some of the basics about Zithromax. Of course, Zithromax is getting a lot of attention recently because it's one of the medications that's being used to treat individuals diagnosed or suspected of having COVID-19. So Zithromax, it's a medication, it's a drug, it's an antibiotic. Zithromax is the brand name, azithromycin is the basic generic name. So it's an antibiotic. Antibiotics are medications that used to treat primarily um, infections. Zithromax specifically, it's treated to reduce um, a bacteria, often given to individuals for upper respiratory infection. You may be a patient who has asthma, suspected having a pneumonia, um, COVID-19. Uh, you may have something that has the influenza virus, but they may suspect that you may have some type of bacterial infection going on. You might be prescribed uh, Zithromax. So regardless of the reason why it's given to you, whether it's for COVID-19 suspicion or something else, the same uh, treatment care regarding um, antibiotics should be followed. So again, it's an antibiotic, so it must be prescribed by a pro provider, be it a physician, a dentist, nurse practitioner, or a PA, whoever has prescription privileges. A key thing about antibiotics, you must take it for the period that it was prescribed. If it's prescribed for seven days, and many times it is, it could be longer. Uh, some patients, once they start to feel better, they stop taking the medication, which is very, very wrong of you. It, it's, it's, it's not what you do. You're feeling better, but you still have the bacteria in it. It's not fully gone out of your system. Take the antibiotic for the course that's ordered. Zithromax, most time, it's it's often, it could be once a day or it could be twice a day. It comes in pill form. That's probably the most common form. Also comes in liquid form. You know, babies, children usually get the liquid forms. And believe it or not, it actually can be given in intravenous in different circumstances by a, a licensed a practitioner. So... In a nutshell, that's basically uh, the preparation of Zithromax. Um, doses could be anywhere from 250 to 500 based on your condition, whether you're an adult, based your height, weight, based on what they're treating, etc. But it's an antibiotic and it's key, key, key part that you must continue the medication for when it was prescribed. Like all medications, there are potentially some side effects to it. Some of the common side effects of Zithromax is primarily um, GI symptoms. Some, some people complain of nausea, upset stomach, some even diarrhea. Zithromax, when prescribed, you can take it on an empty stomach or not. But if you feel that you have some type of an upset stomach, we would encourage you to uh, take it with some food. With any medication, speak to the person who's prescribing it and another major source of content, knowledge, advice is from your pharmacist. A lot of people don't realize the amount of training and knowledge that pharmacists have. It's not just dis dispensing the medication. They are the source of, of great information uh, for any medication. So if you're taking a Zithromax, that's what you should do. So again, GI symptoms are some of the common side effects but what you must be concerned about and be alarmed if it happens to you or what we call adverse severe you know severe uh, reactions um, leading to a big word anaphylactic reaction so any type of itching itching is never a good sign um, in anything but specifically when you're taking an antibiotic any type of itching, any type of rash, any type of red rash. And of course, if you're darker complexion, it may not look red. So look for any change in temperature and itching. Right away, stop that medication and notify your provider. You may be having a severe reaction to Zithromax. And it's not just Zithromax. Another medication, I think of vancomycin. vancomycin it's another amazing drug, but that's another medication we're really concerned if a patient starts to complain of any type of itching. So in a nutshell, those are the basics of Zithromax, Zithromycin. It's an antibiotic, and again, take it for the duration that's ordered. Once you start feeling better, we're all happy about that. Continue the medication until it's finished. Use the resources that are available to you. Of course, you probably go on the web and look, but talk to the person who prescribed it. 
and also talk to your pharmacist. And I hope that that helps. So again, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, I hope you stay. Have a good day.